mummy. No, I'm not your mummy. You're hungry too, but you don't eat gum leaves. Huh? See, your mummy comes now. Right. Oops. Sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, next time, watch where you step. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. Whoa. Oh. 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 oh, a baby echidna. Poor little thing. I hope I didn't hurt you. Good day, Nutsy. Hi, gang. Who are you talking to? I was talking to this cute little echidna. Echidna? Ah, oh, yeah, sure. If that's an echidna, I'm a duck-billed platypus. <laughs> yeah, me too. But you are a platypus flap. I'm telling you there's an echidna there. And I'm telling you it's just a pile of... Yow! <laughs> <laughs> you see, it was an echidna. Yes, well, uh... We'd better be going home. It'll be dark soon. Whoa, these look good. Leave them alone. That's my dinner. Oh, just one. Find your own gum leaves. Look out. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. You nearly stood on the echidna. Oh, I didn't see you there. Uh oh, what, my baby? She's only a baby. What's the matter? Uh, I'm lost and hungry. I want my mummy. If you're hungry, try these. They're delicious. Don't be silly, Blinky. Baby echidnas don't eat leaves. They drink milk. Milk? Yes, echidna milk, of course. Well, I guess she won't be needing these then. <laughs> I've lost my mummy. Oh, you poor little thing. You're coming home to my place. I have some milk you can have. <laughs> can, can the milk? Well, no. But I'm sure we'll find you something. Hey, just a minute. We don't know your name. Uh, I, I haven't got a name yet. Well then, as we found you hidden under twigs, we'll call you Twiggy. <laughs> Come on, Twiggy. Come on, Twiggy. Just try this. Oh, do I have to? It's delicious, really. <laughs> that tastes like the British some more grandma takes. Oh, it's no use. I've tried everything from kangaroo milk to coconut milk. And she won't swallow a drop of it. Well, maybe she'd prefer insects or something. Oh, yuck. Just because you eat bugs, Flap, doesn't mean echidnas do too. It's no sillier than kangaroos eating grass. <laughs> Yuck. That's enough, you two. We're here to help Twiggy. Yeah, guys, she's right. We've got to come up with something positive. So what are we going to do? She's starving. Well, we shouldn't have brought her here. We should have looked for her mother. I hope it's not too late to find her. Oh, no. Maybe her mother's lost too. Oh, hush, Flap. You'll scare the baby with talk like that. <gasps> Twiggy is gone. Oh, we'll, we'll have to find her. Splodge, you search in that direction. Flap, look over there. Come on, Nutsy, we'll search over there. Twiggy, Twiggy, where are you, Twiggy? No, not under here. Not here, either. Uh, Twiggy, Twiggy. Twiggy. Where are you, Twiggy? Oh, baby. Mummy, where are you? Um, I'm hungry, Mummy. <laughs> I'm frightened. Oh, oh, that looks like... Yeah, it's honey. Oh, and where there's honey, there's ants. 
For a first thing in the morning. I promise. Maybe if we sing her a lullaby, she'll fall asleep. Yeah, great idea. Do you know this one? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. A little twiggy. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Don't know why you want me to go to sleep. They're the ones who sound like they need a rest. <laughs> Before we go looking for your mother tomorrow, do you have any idea where you might live? Uh, all I know is that we live under a big kiss. A big kiss? How extraordinary! What's a big kiss? Can you tell us more about it, Twiggy? No. Well, how do echidnas kiss? Well, with all those spikes, I'd imagine... Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, Blinky. This is a serious situation. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, but we'll have to find out what the big kiss looks like. Twiggy, try and remember. What does it look like? Well, it looks like... like a kiss. But a really big kiss. Well, maybe if she tells us exactly how she got lost, we can retrace her steps. Probably won't help in the least. If it will. Help my mama and me when I got lost. No. You were lost, Flap? How? Yeah. I was still an egg when it happened. Oh, come off it, Flap. How can you retrace the steps of an egg? Well, she did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did, did, did. Stop it, you two. We're trying to get Twiggy to sleep. I want to have the story. Story? What sort of story? About how his mama found him when he was lost. You want to hear about me? Yes. Go ahead, Flap. Tell us what happened. Well, it happened when I was just a newly hatched egg. A baby platypus starts off as an egg in our mother's pouch, just like an echidna. Well, one day, Mama was digging a new home beside the river. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. There, that'll do nicely. Mother didn't know it, but a big bad bird was sitting in a tree watching her. If there's one thing these birds really love, it's platypus eggs. Won't be long now, darling, then you'll be safe. Ooh, ooh. Where I was, almost born. I didn't know where I was, so I started to run. Mama! Mama! Ouch! Oh, Mama! I'm born! Oh, please! Don't eat me! My baby! Mama! You found me! Mother had tracked me down by following my footprints. What an exciting story that was, Flap. Oh, yes. That was very exciting. Tell me another. I like stories. Well, I lost my mother, too. Well, it was more like she lost me. Oh, go ahead, Splodge. Tell us. Uh, well, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. It happened on a day just like today. My mother had made me some of my favourite biscuits. We were eating them, and suddenly she smelled trouble. Dingoes. We must get away. Oh, I hated it when she ran, because it was impossible to eat anything. Oh, I think we're losing them. <laughs> Fortunately, Mother managed to escape the dingoes. Oh, there you are. And what a mess. Before I let you back in my pouch, you go and wash yourself. That's a good boy. And mind to wash behind your ears, too. Oh, dear me, I'm so itchy. I, I probably need a bath myself. I'm clean, Mama. I can get back in the pouch again now. Not so fast, young man. My pouch is full of your crumbs. Oh, it was a while before she let me back in her pouch. Shh. Twiggy's asleep. <laughs> Here we 
are where we found you. Now, all we have to do is try and find how you got here. Can you remember, Twiggy? Oh, over there. I came from there. I'll carry you and you show me the way. Yeah, this is the way. I remember the river. Look, there's Miss Magpie. She'll know about the big kiss. Good day, Miss Magpie. Uh oh. What mischief are you up to today, children? Miss Magpie, we're trying to help a lost baby echidna find her home. She says it's a big kiss. Hmm. Big kiss? Well, I don't know of a big kiss, but there is a rock formation known as Echidna Rock. Oh, that must be it. Where is this rock? Is it far? Yes, it's some distance from here, on top of Stony Hill. Um, thanks, Miss Magpie. Come on, mate. We'd better be going. Fancy that. The old bird knows something useful after all. We've been walking for ages. I hope you guys know where we're going. Yeah, we probably lost ourselves. Oh, Splodge, don't be such a pessimist. You frighten the baby. No, oh, I'm not frightened. I am a little bit tired, though. We platypuses are built for swimming, not for walking. <sighs> we're all tired, Blinky. Aren't we there yet? Well, uh, of course we're there. May I present a Echidna Rock? No way am I going up there. Platypuses are even worse at climbing than they are at walking. Flap, how could you? Poor Twiggy is missing her mother, her home and her family. And you're too selfish to climb up to the big kiss to help her. Oh, that's not the big kiss. And that's not the... Not the big kiss? No, the big kiss is different. It's a side. I knew it. I just knew it. It did seem to be too great a distance for a little type like that to walk. Well, back to where we started from, mates. The last place Twigger remembered was the river. Right. Now where do we go? Any suggestion where we could look for the sign? I made a sign for my dad once. We were fishing out there one day, and we're catching some really big ones. It's another big one, Flap. Looks like we've found the ideal fishing spot. Oh, yes, Daddy, we must come here again. We certainly will, Flap. But we will need to mark the spot. I'll do it, Daddy. I'll mark the spot. I'll put a mark right here and we'll know where to come next time. <laughs> 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 I used to go fishing with my dad, too. I loved it. It was always lots of fun. <laughs> but my father wasn't very well. He was very, very sick. I still kept on fishing, and even went to the same picnic spot where we used to cook the fish afterwards. But it was never the same without my dad. I once made a sign where the fireplace was, so my father and I could find our favourite spot. And I've been going there ever since. The mark I made is still there today. Come on, I'll show you. Yep, it's still there. Look. Ah. It's a kiss. I should have guessed.
you call that a big scary tree? It's hardly more than a twig. <laughs> to me, it's a big tree. She has your best, Blodge. You will... <laughs> Let's do it again. You've got to be joking. There. All clean. Yeah. And lucky we had a soft landing. But how are we going to get back up there? Well, climbing is out of the question. Perhaps through there. Come on, let's go and see. This looks like a way out. Oh, good on you, Blinky Bill. I knew you'd get us out. Extraordinary. Look. That's it. That's the big kiss. That's my home. Baba. <laughs> Baba. We did it! We did it! Oh, Twiggy, I'm so happy for you! It looks deserted. Hello? Mrs. Akenna! Her name is Bobby. Call her like this. Bobby! Oh, Bobby! Where are you, Bobby? Baby! Oh! Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! Is, is that you, baby? Oh, my baby, my darling, I thought I'd lost you. <laughs> and when Twiggy saw the two crossed trees, we knew we'd finally found her home. Ah, oh, what a wonderful story. Thank you all so much. I've only got one question, though. Who is Twiggy? Ah, oh, that's me, Bobby. That's my new name. And a lovely name it is, too. Extraordinary! <laughs>